Hi, my name is Heidi Rethmeyer, and this Wednesday webinar is going to be about Quizlet Live. And many of you may be familiar and have used Quizlet in your classroom, but Quizlet Live is a game that you can use with your entire class that's fairly new. I think it came out this spring. So the first thing I'm going to do is take you to the Quizlet website and show you where you can find this particular tool. So if you go to Quizlet.com, if you do not have an account, you can sign up for one. Um, or if you have one, you can log in and you can use this with your current account. Okay, so when you log in, most of your choices are over here on the left. Your study sets are ones that you've already created. Settings if you want to change some settings. And we will talk about this in a moment here in terms of making sure that you can use the Quizlet Live tool. Um, you can also create a class where you can share a code with your students so they have access to a specific um, type of sets that you have created, maybe one for your geometry class, uh, one for your history class. So you can create some classes. I'm not going to go into all the details of that because really just uh, want to concentrate on Quizlet Live. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one of my sets. And I did Famous Mothers, because it was Mother's Day when I first did this set with a group of teachers. And you can see all the different activities that um, someone could do with these particular vocabulary words. But over here on the right-hand side is Live. Now, if you log in and open up a set and you do not see Live, then you do not have a teacher account. So if you go over here to your Settings, Hopefully you have the option where you can set your account to teacher. Now, when I did this, I didn't even have this account type option. So I'm told um, what you can do is if you come over to the Help Center and come down to the bottom and contact us and tell Quizlet your maybe your username, your account name, and the fact that you're a teacher and you want to use Quizlet Live but you do not see that option, they should be able to set you up. Now I didn't know that so I actually just created a brand new account and made all my study sets public from my old one and transferred them over. So that wasn't a very efficient way to do it but I made it work so that I could use Quizlet Live. So I'm going to go back uh, to my study sets and you can also search for study sets. So I'm shameless if someone has created a great study set say in geometry and these people have all made their study sets public so please consider doing that with your study set so others can benefit also from some of the great things you guys are doing so I can copy any of these and make them my own and modify them and use them also with Quizlet Live so um, you don't have to create them from scratch there's a lot that's already out there alright so I'm gonna go back to my study sets and I am going to select famous mothers so here is where I have the live button so if I select live if this is the first time you're doing it you can certainly watch this video here also um, from the Quizlet group um, but I would just go straight to create game All right, now I'm going to go back to my keynote here, but this is what would come up on your screen. The students would go to Quizlet Live. They can do it on an iPad, on a Chromebook. Um, it's web-based, so I have had no problems with it working on different platforms. Okay, so again, the top screen is what I will see on my computer, and it tells students to go to Quizlet Live. Whereas then on the bottom screen, this is what students would see when they go to Quizlet.live. So they would put the code that is on the teacher screen in and get ready to join the game. Then once all the students are in, and I say start the game, it will break them into groups. So you can see there's frogs, T-Rexes, ostriches, and lynx. So each student needs to have a device. So even though they're going to work in teams, each student will have their own device. 
And if you don't like the way the teams are set up, you can shuffle the teams. Um, unless you have um, the paid version, you cannot create your own teams, but that is something you could do with the paid version. So then I would have the students find their teammates and sit next to them, if possible. And then I would get ready to start the game. Now, once I start the game, the way it works is the screen at the top with the cheetahs and the peacocks and the camels, that's what shows up on my screen that's projected up. And it's kind of like the tally board, so you see which team is in the lead and how many questions they have correct. If a team misses a question, they will drop back to zero. Now the screen on the bottom is what the students are going to see. So for example, you can see you, that's your screen, and you have several answers, and your teammates are each going to have different answers. Now, the tricky part is only one of your team members has the correct answer. So you're going to have to communicate with each other to see who has the correct answer and select it. And again, like I said, if the team selects the wrong answer, they drop back to zero. So it's great that every student is engaged because every student has to look at their screen and discuss about who has the correct answer. All right, so I'm going to show you just a quick video of what I did with teachers just this morning, actually, so you can kind of see how this occurs live. Okay, so that was just a, a quick view of what it would look like in your classroom. So um, up on the screen would be, let me go back, up on the screen would be the tally board. And then the students each will have um, different options on their screen, and then they have to choose the correct one. Okay, when the game is over, there is an end of game review where you can, there's three tabs of what we learned, what to work on, and what we know. So based upon how your students did, it will um, put different answers in different categories, what we learned. Um, maybe they eventually got some of those right, what to work on, those may be questions that multiple teams got wrong, and what we know are the questions that they got right. So now unfortunately you can't save that data again unless you have the paid version, um, but that's certainly just at least a little bit of feedback that you can review with your students after the game is over. All right, so a couple other notes about Quizlet. You have to have at least 12 items in your study set. So let me go back to my study set. So in this particular study set I have 15 terms. You have to have a minimum of 12 or you will not have the option to do it live because it has to have a certain number um, incorrect answers uh, to play the game. And if there are some duplicates I believe um, Quizlet Live will take care of that so that um, there aren't two, ans two of the same answers showing up, but one would be counted wrong and one would not. So it will um, determine if you have you know, two peggies uh, for your game. So that's Quizlet Live. It really is a very fun and interactive way for the students to review some vocabulary. I will say one other thing that I wish they would do differently is once a team does get all the answers correct, it stops the game. I wish it would let the other uh, teams finish before it kicks everyone out, but it will stop. So sometimes I play the game more than once, so people get uh, more exposure to some of those vocabulary terms, but that will happen, that as soon as a team finishes and gets them all correct, the game will quit. So Quizlet Live is a great tool that you can use with your students to interact with each other, uh, work on some vocabulary skills, um, and it's pretty easy. If you do have trouble setting up your account, I would contact Quizlet to make sure that uh, you have that particular teacher account so that you can do live. But if you have any questions, please feel free to email me and let me know how it works in your classroom. Thanks for listening.